Hello, this is Albert again. Going to go over another exploit with the Metasploit framework. This time I'm going to use the newly developed Metasploit framework GUI, which is present right here on my VM of Backtrack. And again, I have my Windows XP system that is going to be my victim machine. So we will go ahead. I already have on my attacking machine I already have the uh, Metasploit GUI set up and we're going to do an exploit here for Windows for a browser and here's the list of all the exploits that we can use with uh, with Metasploit you can see the Microsoft ones start showing up and today we're going to use this one which is the very new uh, there's no number for it yet there's no patch for it there's a fix it out in the Microsoft website but it basically makes all your icons pictures uh, go blank so we're gonna choose this one to uh, exploit and this exploit was shown already online in a video in Vimeo you can find it through the uh, Metasploit console but I just thought I'd go through this using the Metasploit GUI, basically the same type of exploit. <clears throat> Here I'm going to choose the Meterpreter payload and reverse TCP. Basically all of this has gone through as well by uh, Carlos on from uh, Paul.com. He went through uh, screenshots basically of how everything works, basically everything that we're going to do right now and using Meterpreter to browse and such. So that's by Carlos Perez. And uh, so back to here. I'm going to choose reverse TCP. And it already filled in our listen address, which is our host computer for the attacking machine. My server host is going to be the same here, and that's pretty much all I need to set up. Again, I'm going to use port 80, and that's all I have to do is hit run exploit. It creates the exploit right there, the service. I can right click and I can pull up info or I can stop it. So I'm going to go to my system here, bring up Internet Explorer. Again, go to HTTP. 192, and then there's 70, which is my IP address right here. I go to ifconfig. Again, you have to get your victim to access your machine somehow, whether it be a, uh, a fake website, some type of social engineering phishing attack. And they'll go to the site. Metasploit will do its thing. This is what happens for this particular vulnerability. It brings up a shortcut link, which Microsoft's uh, vulnerability can't handle it, and gives access to my Metasploit uh, process and right here is where I have my session. So from this session shows the exploit, shows the payload. I can right click it. I can do all these types of things right here. I can do privilege escalation. Let's go ahead and get hashes. It's going to get system access to the, to the uh, computer. And then again, I have the hashes from my Windows XP system. I can also go here, access the file system. I can access the file system, of course, on my local machine. I can go to C. I can go to Tools. On here as well, I have C. 
partition tools. I can download, upload, make a directory, delete stuff. So it's one thing you can do. You can also start Keylogger. You can do a screenshot. Like say they are going to some website, their hotmail or whatnot. I can go to screenshot, pull that up. I of course have to go to got an image viewer here. I can open. I think this is the most recent one. And there you go, I have a screenshot view of what I just took. So I can maintain access by setting up RDP, setting up Telnet to continue to maintain access just in case they uh, do something to the system that I lose my interpreter shell. Uh, Keylogger. And so these are uh, a lot of things I can do with it. And it's easy as that with the Metasploit GUI. You can do it that way, or you can do it through the console. I'm going to kill these, and my system is back to normal. Thank you. Hopefully I'll come out with more of these. Goodbye.